as I said before, you can add your extra geometry afterwards, uh, once you've got your blocking out done. Then you can just sort of fine tune everything as we've got going on in here now. So just a little bit of work to do on there. Okay, so I'm just going to hit 3 on the keyboard again. That's better, that's much better. And again, a little bit of shape to do on here, so it's a little bit too square. And I'm just going to push this one back. Whoops. That's better. Okay, that's looking good. And then what we need to do is just pull this thumb out a bit more. And also need to just grab these on the sides. Just push it down a little bit. That one there needs to come out just a little bit. And that one as well. And we'll do these sides as well. Okay. And we'll just push these back into there as well. And then what we need to do is just start to round out the forms on here. Okay, like so. And there as well. And then what we can do, I'm just going to jump back into my uh, low level preview. And just going to start to round that area out there, sort of like the top of the uh, knuckle there area for the thumb as it joins onto the palm. Okay. That's better. And I'll just push these around a little bit, just round it all out. Okay. That's better. And what we'll do is just add some more geometry. Uh, one in there, 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 and there. Okay. And what we'll do, we'll delete some history. Uh, the reason for putting the uh, more geometry in as well um, not, is, well, obviously, to get more form and add more detail for the hand. But um, also, it's worth bearing in mind that. Um, it's a good way to uh, balance out uh, how your UVs are going to be affected, which is the process that, uh, that's used to create uh, 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 helps to helps you to have uh, a flattened mesh, if you like, uh, in a 2D space in Maya that enables you to apply texture uh, to your hand. And uh, by having uh, the right amount of polygons or UVs, um, this can actually enable you to have a better texture uh, so you don't get too much stretching going on, uh, there's not too much blurring going on as well. Um, there are a lot of good tools available in the uh, Maya UV editor uh, to enable you to sort of optimize your texture in and your UVs, um, but uh, it does help to have a, a decent amount of polys as well, not too many because um, if you need to edit your uh, UVs then you've got a lot of point pulling to do. But um, so like this is quite adequate, even at this stage. Um, you could, you may want to choose to UV your uh, model at, at a very early point like this. So um, things like that are worth uh, thinking about as well. So moving on, what we're going to do now is we're going to rotate this uh, 
uh, thumb back. So I'm just going to grab these guys and we can twist these round. Now I'm just going to move the pivot point. I'm just pressing D on the keyboard and all I'm going to do is just push that like so. Just move that back a bit. Actually we've selected one row too many I think. So what I'll do, undo that. And we'll go again for there. In fact, we will go up from there. So, going to hit D on the keyboard, move the pivot point. I think for those. Okay, let's have a look where we are. Now, I'm just going to move that out ever so slightly like that. And swing that out just a little bit more. So, move that down. Again, you can see here, we'll need to tune this all up uh, before we proceed. So I'm just going to rotate this round like so. There we go. In fact, I did grab too many polys. I do apologise. Okay, right. So go again. Okay, yeah, that's much better. Much, much better. Okay, so I'm just going to move these again. And if you look at your own thumb you'll be able to see uh, just how far back uh, it's angled uh, towards your body and stuff so okay so that should do that just nicely now we're not going to go in and uh, sort of tidy everything up here uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab those edges all the way around there okay convert those to faces and what I intend to do is we're going to triangulate this area and what that will enable us to do is to actually sort of move all the geometry and there it is triangulate so we've done that so as you can see that's gone in so there's the twisted area so what we need to do is just grab all that twist and get rid of those like so and delete those edges so it's a little bit tidier now, so all we need to do is just really go around and just tidy up the points that are sort of gone stray from that little bit of twisting as well. So just by doing that, triangulating uh, the, your twisted area, you can then get all your edge flow back to normal without too much hassle, which is pretty neat. Okay. And there you go. So it's not too bad.